good news is we are super, super close with our golf grip. This thing here, this. You like that photo? Look at that. Arnie and Jack, love it. Okay, so we're super close with our golf grip, but we've been making one huge, huge mistake with it and uh, we're going to get you fixed up right away because uh, we, gotta, we gotta cure this. It's simple. So about a year ago, I made a video on the golf grip and they're really talking about how to receive the club in your right hand. And this video is kind of an extension of that video because a lot of people are making one critical mistake when they do that and it causes, uh, this is what it causes. The dreaded big giant left hook. And we don't want that. We want perfection like this. That's a little better. Nice, nice little falling fade. We're gonna get you there. One tweak. Okay, so gripping your club here, let's assume your left hand's pretty solid. I don't really care if it's strong or uh, pretty neutral. Just try not to get too weak, which would be turning it to the left. So wherever you like it in here, that's about me right there and your right arm. Quickly just get that elbow in and see how that hand just hangs once you t tuck that elbow into your side. It's, it's a bit open. So this is receiving the club right here. And then what a lot of people do with that is they push their thumb on the right side of that grip. And that is not where you want that thumb to be, okay? But it's naturally gonna feel like it should be there. And then your thumb is over there on that right side. And what that does is it causes you to shut that club face down as you hit through the ball, causing that big hooking shot, which we don't want. And why does it do that? Well, check it out. Notice this. When you receive that club here, watch this. When I grip a little bit with my thumb and index finger, this is how you know it's wrong, is as I grip, that club head is being pulled backwards here. So my thumb is too far to the right, just squeeze a little bit and you see it pulling the club head backwards. All you're doing is squeezing that like so. What that does is forces you as you come through to throw that toe to the left and which shuts the club face. And if that club gets pulled backwards, it's wrong. And wrong equals this even though you're sort of, you're really close right here, what do we need to do to fix it? Here it is. You did everything right so far. You come in here, you got that right elbow in, you receive the club, it's kind of in that second to third pad of your right hand. All we wanna do is move that thumb more over to the left half of that golf grip. Right on top is okay, but just try to go just to the other side of center. Now, when I squeeze the club, the club head doesn't pull backwards. This is how you know you're in the correct position. Received it, put that up. Now when I squeeze, that club actually shoots out that way. It goes out and up. If your thumb is too far to the right, it goes that way. No good. That one little change, changes everything. And, and there's just one more tweak to it that you have to understand. So if you just go from receiving the club like so, and your thumb on the right, and just move your thumb over like this, you're, you're a little closer, but what happens is there's a little gap. There's too big a gap uh, in here, this point between your thumb and your hand, if you just move that over. And what that's gonna do when you get up to the top of your backswing, 
there's going to be some play up here. It's going to be too loose. All because right in here, there's too much space. And that's very critical. It might seem like a little thing, but what happens is you're up here, that club is just, it's not going to be as secure and it will slip. And obviously if it slips just a tiny little bit, it's going to dramatically affect your shot up there. And you could feel it too much and you're going to lose distance and power and controllability. So as you move that thumb from the right side of your grip on top, you got to just not, I'm not turning my hand over. Like I don't want to do one of those. All I'm doing is moving my pad, my right pad over my left thumb a little bit subtly moving that over. And so you got a nice pinch right there with your right hand on that grip. And so that way you have control up here at the top of the backswing when that club sets on your transition and you'll be able to control that club face with your thumb and first finger on your right hand. That's club face control. And then your shots will look hopefully more like this. That's the best one I hit, all because we're refining our grip in a way that makes a huge, huge difference. Love you guys. See you in the next video.